Today we are going to go through the steps to repair a fire hydrant after it has been struck by a moving vehicle. The AVK traffic kit is available from your local AVK distributor. Let's get started installing our AVK traffic repair kit. Warning, for all of the following repair procedures, the hydrant must be isolated or the system depressurized and drained before removing the hydrant components. Failure to do so may cause pressure to be released, resulting in severe injury or death. Remove the nozzle section nuts and bolts from the now broken breakable flange. If the lock ring is still in place, slide it off the lower barrel. Remove the spring pins from the coupler pins in the upper stem rod and the lower stem rod. Remove and discard the broken breakable stem coupling pieces. Place the nozzle section on the lower barrel to facilitate removing the upper stem. Remove the weather shield retaining bolt with a 5 16 or 8 mm hexagon key. Lift off the weather shield. Remove the lock plate retaining screw and the lock plate with a 7 64 or 3 mm hexagon key. Older hydrants may be equipped with a set screw instead of a lock plate. Remove the set screw and set aside for later use. Remove the thrust nut using the AVK operating wrench and rotating counterclockwise. Remove the operating nut using the AVK operating wrench. Remove the upper anti-friction washer. Turn counterclockwise for open left hydrants and clockwise for open right hydrants. Remove the lower anti-friction washer and set aside with the operating nut. Using the socket wrench end of the AVK T wrench, remove the stop nut from the upper stem rod. It may be necessary to keep the upper stem rod from rotating. Remove the six bonnet bolts, nuts, and washers using a 3 quarter inch or 19 millimeter wrench. Lift the bonnet off the nozzle section. Remove the upper stem rod carefully to avoid damage to the stem seal o-rings. Lift the nozzle section off the lower barrel and place it on the ground. Reconnect the upper stem rod to the lower stem rod with the new coupler pins, new breakable stem rod coupling, and secure with spring pins. Slide a new breakable flange over the lower barrel. Be sure the breakable flange is right side up, indicated with the text, this side up. Then install a new lock ring under the groove in the lower barrel. Clean the hydrant's nozzle section and lower barrel flange faces and install a new barrel gasket. Lift the hydrant nozzle section assembly over the upper stem rod and carefully place the assembly on the lower barrel and barrel gasket. Check for correct alignment of the barrel gasket and reinstall the nozzle section mounting hardware finger tight. Adjust nozzle alignment and then torque the mounting hardware to 80 foot-pounds. Wipe off the nozzle section, then install the barrel gasket. Carefully slide the bonnet over the upper stem rod, taking care not to dislodge the stem seal o-rings or barrel gasket. Install the bonnet bolts, washers, and nuts finger tight. Using the AVK seat wrench, install the stop nut. Place one anti-friction washer on the top and bottom of the operating nut thrust collar. Install the operating nut and the anti-friction washers using the AVK operating wrench. Lightly grease the O-rings on the thrust nut and screw the thrust nut into the bonnet completely. Then back off the thrust nut 1 8 to 1 quarter turn until the thrust nut lines up with the lock plate. Do not over tighten the thrust nut. 
Install the lock plate and secure it with a lock plate screw using a 7 64th or 3 mm hexagon key. Tighten the bonnet bolts and nuts to 65 foot pounds using a star pattern. Install the weather shield and the weather shield bolt using a 5 16th or 8 mm hexagon key. After reassembly is complete, open and close the hydrant completely. Open the isolation valve. Test the hydrant for leaks. We have successfully repaired our AVK dry barrel fire hydrant with an AVK traffic repair kit.